So now that I've kind of broken down exactly how I want to continue my strategy as we continue on through the campaign, I feel a little bit more comfortable. Um, I think we did a good job in the last video, at least I did a good job of kind of putting my ideas on paper, uh, and I know not on paper, but uh, verbally. Uh, so I think I know how to defend my borders and at the same time continue to take more cities. So I have a lot of units coming to the north to come and defend, um, but so far in the west, I mean, we're still doing, we're st we're still doing great, I think. I think we're still doing great. Uh, so anyways, let's jump back into the war and focus uh, on destroying Romania. This is like top priority here. We have got to destroy Romania. Uh, and I'm going to leave these units alone because I don't know if they're going to be able to take it back. It's not like Civ Five where they can just take it back instantly. Uh, ooh. Uh, actually, you know, I should probably, I'm going to start to wrap this KV-1 around so that I can begin to attack their infantry. Um, that sounds like a good idea. And I'm going to keep him there. Again, I, I'm i so upset because I could have maybe used this guy. I mean, I could put him inside the city, but uh, he's going to get pushed out next turn, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I could try to go around. It's going. It would take several turns to go around this lake, though. Oh my gosh, five turns. Uh, definitely not worth it. If I have enough units coming over here, I didn't realize that I could push through south of this small lake and begin to attack Finland themselves. Uh, that might be a kind of a cool idea. Uh, so maybe I will try that. I think that's what I'm going to try, because I have nothing else to do there. Uh, you continue on interception mode. I've got two anti-aircrafts uh, next to this front, too, so I feel safe against the German Air Force. Um, let's push this anti-aircraft a little bit further to the front lines. And good. Good, so Germany did try to take it back, but they had didn't really have much success. Notice that I'm losing material, and by the end of this turn, I'm going to have a lot less material. Uh, well, maybe not a lot less, but it's it's going to start to dig away at me. Okay, so let's uh, use the howitzer. I know the howitzer doesn't attack very well uh, on other units. Major defeat. Why is that? Why am I facing a major defeat here? Okay, well, I'm going to try to get some units out and around. Does this increase my chances? It's still, it's now it's a minor defeat. Um, do I think it's worth it? I think so. We're going to lose material, but that's okay. Well, we, we're going to attack with the infantry, so that's not as bad. Hey, what happened here? Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I don't mind attacking with infantry. We can attack with infantry all day. There we go. There is a field gun. Perfect. And we need to watch this front. Because it looks like the Germans are now focused on protecting their next city. Uh, notice that this city only has 34 combat strength. We need to keep that in mind. And let's attack the convoys. Ooh, these convoys can move really fast through the water. I hope they don't pull any more of their German uh, ships out. Because I think I'm going to go hardcore for stopping at stopping this convoy. Yep, that's what we're going to do. I'll give you naval, naval promotion. We're going to go here, attack like that. And I'll even pull out this guy. Bam. So there we go. We're going to make sure that they are definitely hurting for their own material. I wish there was a way to look at the AIs. Like, I guess it doesn't make much sense, but I wish there was a way to calculate somehow uh, how much material they're at and how much they're losing per turn and stuff like that. That would be really cool. I realize that that would be kind of not fair, but yeah. I'm not going to attack with this unit. I think we're going to focus on the unit uh, around the river. And I think that will be it for this turn. Yeah, I think I'll keep that like that. Dang, I might have been able to take this city. I didn't realize that. Well, that's fine. We'll focus on this city. Cause actually, I, I, that's right. I almost messed up. Uh, the planes won't do any damage below a certain uh, city's health, and that's that's too low for the, the plane to do any damage. Okay, so I think I can take over this 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 guy. Uh, where can I put this guy? Where can I put this field gun to utilize him in the best way possible? I figured that was going to eat up all his movement. So let's attack. Well, first of all, there's a howitzer. So we are obviously going to attack like this. Bam. I'd love to take the city right now. Um, let's go and take the city. I'm going to focus on taking the city. Okay. And I will bring this infantry unit to, to defend like this. I can still attack here. And we're going to go crazy. There we go. Victory. Stalemate. Yeah, we need to... Oh, did we kill him? No, he's still alive. Okay, let's... Let's go crazy. Let's do it. Oh, can we... Dang, I thought we'd be able to maybe take the city over. Okay, so Romania is going to be dead next turn, I think. The cities are going to be gone, at least. Yeah, I'm going to keep this guy here. He's going to stay there. He's going to be on a hill, and he's going to defend that, that tile. 
Incredibly important job. I'm gonna get off this. Oh, oh I was on a. I didn't even realize I was on a hill. I was gonna say I was gonna get off the uh, the farmland, open terrain to rough terrain, but it doesn't matter either way. Okay, so where was I sending you at? I don't even remember what I was doing with you, but I feel comfortable pushing you forward, even if I was if I meant to send you to uh, the finish front. Yeah, I feel good. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. That's good. That's good so far. I'm happy. Okay, let's focus on the Germans. Let's watch the Germans and see what they do. What are you going to do? We, I think we definitely hurt them quite a bit by uh, doing that much damage to their convoys. Ooh, he had to go around. So there were two. I was going to say, how is he moving so fast? Uh, I hope they don't bring, like I said, any sort of naval units to reinforce in the Baltic Sea. I think they kind of have to. If the AI is really smart, that would be a smart move. Not really. It's not a smart move. It's pretty... It's kind of a given. Uh, obviously, any human player would try to protect their source of material. Um, I'd be pretty proud of the AI if I if I see their their ship come and try to stop us. But I don't think they will. But we're, I think we're going to destroy at least one convoy. At least one. So this is good. Ooh, what city was captured? Oh, oh, that's right. That that we we knew about that. Okay, I figured that city was going to. We knew that city was going to fall. We also need to keep in mind where they go from here. So they're going to bring in reinforcements. There are now two infantry, which is more than enough to be able to take over this small city. As long as we protect Leningrad, that's number one priority. And and I'm hoping that, you know, the units to the east of this lake are going to be, I mean, I'm hoping they can survive. Reinforcements are coming, but they have got to survive for a while. Until there's a unit here... A Nazi unit unit here to to flank. That's I, I feel comfortable staying at this spot until that happens. You know, until we start being flanked from different sides. Okay, and uh, I don't know. I don't know if technically that's a flank. I don't know if that gives a flanking bonus. I think I, I need to look into that. It might give a small bonus, and I think as the more units that you have around a single unit like this, maybe the flanking bonus increases. Something like that. Not 100% about the math. Uh, on on that and then and then this mod, but I, I imagine it's something like that So yeah, that's gonna be the plan as I continue to build more units uh, I will not be sending them towards the west. We will be sending them to stop this uh, German aggression here within off the Finnish territory and Hopefully we'll be able to make our own pushback destroying Finland and taking back our cities That's what I'm hoping for but we'll see. Okay, so first things first, I will attack with you because you really don't have any other option. You might as well attack like this. Good, good. Um, you are not doing so well. I'm going to probably back you up. Uh, good, I've got another naval infantry coming too. So I'll back you up there. I could potentially try to take back this city, but it would just be a, be a slow grind. Ooh, why am I not doing much damage? Minor defeat, why is that? Bonus versus armored units? Oh, never mind. No, we're good now. Uh, yes, I'm going to press forward because we've. I think we have enough units to eventually be able to reinforce that. I've got a lot more units coming still. Like, we're... I don't know where you're going, but I imagine you're coming to... Uh, I've got naval infantry coming, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, we've got, we'll be fine to, like, leave an, a, an open spot here. Here is my... ZIS, if I can find... So there's no armored units in this location, which kind of sucks. Attack bonus. I should have really brought you towards the other front. And maybe I won't even use you. Maybe you will be a meat shield for now. I need to put you there. And I will put maybe you there. They're going to come after us, though. Which is the scary part. Now they will come after us. And you guys stay right there. Do I want to even use this and waste a bunch of material? I don't think so. Maybe you can go in interception mode. Maybe I shouldn't even have put those uh, planes in that location. Maybe that was a bad idea. Okay, let's try to destroy this convoy. Nice. Come on. There you go. Very nice. Cool. Cool. And then I'm going to try to get right here, and then bam. All right. All right, I'm feeling comfortable. I'm feeling good. Let's give him another naval promotion. What else do we have? Trade trade routes. Okay, that's fine. 
you can stay there. And I want to specify that you guys are coming. Yeah, the field gun has got to come to Leningrad. We could really use that. And the infantry, good, Leningrad as well. Okay. You guys, it looks like we're, we're going to go around to reinforce, which I think is going to be excellent. So we've got a plane, a bomber coming from Moscow. Uh, Minsk, Minsk still has a, a while to build that tank, but that's going to be a really powerful tank. I've got an infantry coming in 17 turns, a paratrooper coming in 10 turns. We don't really have many other reinforcements coming that we're building anytime soon. Land reinforcements. I could always buy them, though. That's no problem at all. I just, I've been, I play very, you know how conservative I am, guys, with my money. I'm very, very conservative. I don't like to just buy things on a whim. Uh, that's just how I am. <laughs> Very careful with what I do with money. Um, okay, so let's focus on making sure that we destroy this city. When we do that, I think we'll have major bonuses for destroying the, the remaining, remaining army. So let's attack here, since you can't attack anywhere else. Um, we'll do field gun, and there it goes. City's fallen. Bam. Uh, there's no way... Ah, uh, man... I, I don't. I want to start attacking, but oh, there's no way I can reinforce this field gun any, anyways. Well, my field gun's gonna get hurt really bad, but that's okay, cause cause they're goners. Minor defeats. Yeah, so we don't get any bonuses for destroying their cities. We still have to grind away at them. That kind of sucks, but that's okay, cause we're not distracted anymore. We're not focusing on anything but destroying their units, so it's still good. Let's give you rough terrain since there's a lot of rough terrain down here. Uh, okay, so that is it there. Howitzer, I don't even care because you can't, you're going to only really, you're only useful for attacking cities. All right. And let me push this field gun to the front lines. Bam. All right, cool. Oh, I can still attack here? Oh, okay. Well, then let me, minor victory. Let's attack, yeah, let's let's continue to push back their, their guns. Oh, this is not a bad city. This is not a bad city at all. I could continue to work wealth, but I I you know clearly I think I'm having some production issues, slight production issues. Money wise money wise I feel comfortable. Okay. Um again, I feel totally fine with just keeping this front stagnated. Um I don't mind I mean I'm gonna try to push back. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm still gonna try my best they are they're coming in hard though we we need to we need to do something about this or else they're going to take the city back obviously i'd like for that to not happen yeah howitzer is doing barely any damage at all a uh, huge penalty for attacking across the river but i'm going to do it anyways because thug life and um Can I? I'd love to attack their anti aircraft, but that's okay. Focus on this infantry attack. We're getting a lot of promotions, which is excellent. Bonus versus fortified units. Or we can get rough terrain. I do like having both, even though I'm pushing myself further and further away from getting, getting, having the possibility of getting logistics, which is probably not the best idea. I should probably be focusing on something with logistics. It's very strange that uh, that the German AI is not very good because Panzers are able to attack twice. And if you've watched my AI-only battles, you'll know how successful the Zulu are because of their MPs. Uh, those are units that, you know, essentially attack twice. Uh, but they attack twice automatically. An AI would have to technically choose to attack twice. Maybe that's what's ha where the AI is having an issue as Nazi Germany. Because I know a lot of people were surprised that Nazi Germany hadn't taken down France. Hey, but maybe we can, maybe we can, uh, you know, um, think about some of the things that I did. Maybe because I destroyed more Polish cities than Soviet, the Soviet Union did in, in reality. Maybe that was why. <laughs> Not really. I'm just, I'm just throwing that idea out there. I know I just used my bomber to attack a unit, but um, I don't really want to, I don't have any sort of city that I want to attack right now. Let's get, definitely give you the city promotion, siege promotion, and we are going to go and investigate how much, I'm not losing that much material, we're okay, we are okay. 
hey, I could technically attack with this guy, but I'd be getting destroyed from all different sides. Let's see, what is this? Anti-aircraft, anti-aircraft. Don't feel comfortable doing that. I'm going to stay here in the rough terrain. Uh, what was I doing before? Oh, yeah. Okay. What's up, Greece? Hey, are we cool, Greece? We're not technically, we're friendly towards you, but we're not on a team together, I don't think, right? Does it even clarify? Uh, team two, team two, Italy is team two, okay. I don't think it tells us what team we're on. I don't even, it's funny that I've even, I haven't even really even checked in on this map. Diplomacy overview, deal history, global politics. That's kind of cool. Or I guess window, I shouldn't have said map, but yeah, I haven't really checked in on that window. I still haven't attacked yet. Let's, there we go. That's what I was looking to, to do. Oh, perfect. So we pushed them back nicely. I don't think they're going to be able to take this city over with armored units. Maybe if they have infantry, they would have. Gosh, I need to bring that ZIS or whatever it is towards this front. They have like no infantry over here. It's like all armored units. I know we're doing a lot, I know we're having a lot of success in this front. I don't know why. I mean, I guess it makes it more fair. Because I was going to say, like, why aren't the French having a lot of success? Because we're doing some major damage to the Germans uh, here. But it makes sense. It makes it fair that France isn't having a big impact at all in the game. Just pretty much. It feels like it's just me versus Germany. I know that they're at least distracting the German Air Force, so that's good. Uh, let's, let's actually let's go to Scandinavia and see what they're going to do. Let's cross our fingers here. Come on. Don't do much to us. <laughs> Did we lose a city or anything? No. Ooh, okay, so now they're starting to spread spread apart. Oh my gosh, they've got so many units. Yeah, this city is going to fall, that's for sure. But the reinforcements have begun to slowly arrive, which is perfect. So I might even need to... I might retreat. Huh. I don't know, we'll see. We're going to destroy that anti-aircraft, though. I'm gonna grab my city back though. You I, I will I will tell you that. We're gonna grab that city back. Hopefully Romania doesn't take any more of their cities back, so that way we can focus on Hungary. Alright, cool. And they are attacking. The Germans are trying to grab this their former city. Uh oh, okay, we took some we took some damage from the Germans, I think. They, yeah, so they're trying to take their city back, but that's no issue at all. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Um, I, I really like this whole new scenario where the Germans attack through northern Scandinavia. Um, luckily for us, we have enough units to be able to defend. But there was a moment there in time where I was like, wait a sec. Well, we still don't know how much more they, they have. They could still, if they have more units behind the fog of war, that's going to scare me. Because we don't know what's behind all this, all this dark area. So they could definitely be reinforcing if they wanted to. Uh, and what happened here? Okay, so you're finishing projects. That's that's good. You just you do you, France. And we're just going to work wealth. On the frontier cities that we've just taken over, I'd rather not work on a building because I don't know if it's going to get taken back. Uh, but anyways, guys, I'm about to stop right there. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.